Hello Green Panthers welcome to Herbal Rejoice, hope all are doing good. In this video let's walk you through the magical health benefits of Kanchanara. Commonly known as Mountain Ebony, is a powerful herb in Ayurveda, particularly valued for its ability to treat glandular swellings, especially within the lymphatic system. It is also widely used in managing gynecological conditions resulting from uterine congestion. Chemical constituents Phytosterols, stigmasterol, beta-cetosterol, tannins, flavonoid, glycosides. It's time to discover the Ayurvedic prominence of Kanchanara. Alleviates cervical adenitis. Alleviates swollen glands and lumps. Alleviates skin disorders. Treats ulcers. Alleviates menstrual disorders. Vermifuge. Combinations. Myrrh, turmeric, ashoka, used for gynecological conditions with solid masses. Gugulu, pananava, tripala, trikatu, effective for lymphatic swelling. Bivitaki, kutki, helpful in treating diarrhea and inflammation. Manjishtha, used for bleeding disorders. Pananava, manjishtha, neem, beneficial for skin disorders. Gugulu, frankincense, bakuchi, ginger, ashwagandha, recommended for osteoporosis. Well it's time to discover the science behind the Kanchanara. Taste, astringent, bitter. Energy, cold. Post-digestive effect, pungent. Quality, dry, light. Indicator effect, Kp-, V+. Tissue, blood, muscle, fat, bone, reproductive. Flows through, female reproductive system. Biomedical actions, lymphatic. Alterative, astringent, hemostatic, vulnerary, uterine tonic, antispasmodic, emetic, expectorant, anti inflammatory. Health benefits, gynecology, particularly beneficial for treating congestion and accumulations in the pelvic cavity, such as fibroids, endometriosis, and cysts. Its astringent and light properties help to reduce kappa and are effective in treating menorrhagia and leucorrhea. Tumors, Kanchanara is widely used for treating glandular swellings, lumps, and growths. It is especially effective in addressing cervical adenitis, chronic swollen glands, and abnormal growths. It reduces Maida's datu, fat tissue, and kappa, which are often at the root of such conditions. It is also used in managing cancer and lymphadenitis. Digestion, its astringent quality is useful in treating diarrhea and dysentery. Kanchanara also helps reverse prolapses and hemorrhoids. Blood, the hemostatic properties of Kanchanara are effective in stopping bleeding disorders, particularly those caused by high pitta leading to blood moving out of its correct channels. Lungs, with its mild expectorant action and dry quality, Kanchanara helps reduce excess kappa in the lungs. A decoction gargle is also useful for treating sore throats. Skin, Kanchanara's cooling and drying properties make it effective in treating swollen, oozing, and inflamed skin conditions. It serves as a potent alterative and anti-inflammatory agent. Bones, Kanchanara strengthens bone tissue, ashti datu, and is beneficial in treating osteoporosis. Did you know, Kanchanara is a versatile and potent herb for managing various health issues, particularly those related to the lymphatic system, gynecology, and skin conditions. Its astringent properties make it a strong remedy, and it should be used with caution in specific conditions like pregnancy and constipation. Safety. No drug-herb interactions are known. Dosage. 1 to 10 grams per day or 3 to 15 milliliters of a 1 is to 3 at 45% tincture. When to avoid. Avoid during pregnancy and constipation. That's all we have for today. If you enjoyed the video please do like the video. And if you found the content useful do share it with your loved ones. Signing off, bye.